That's right, it is time to get serious. Hopefully our mics are on. Hopefully I don't sound too sick anymore. And hopefully you're ready to film, Mike. I'm ready. You're I ready? I kind of forgot what we do, but yes, yeah, exactly. it's been a while. So if you guys are new here, we usually film every weekday at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We didn't last week because I was on vacation, mm -hmm. which also means Mike and Charlotte were on vacation from doing lives at least. Of course, we still post videos. So every day we still post a video at 2 p.m. and we'll still continue on with our live series from now on. 2 p.m. every weekday Eastern Standard Time. So as always, we'll do a full walk around of either a Kia or Hyundai vehicle. Today is the 2023 Hyundai Tucson Ultimate Plug-in Hybrid Electric Vehicle. So this is our very, very first time filming uh, PHEV Tucson mm -hmm. and we are so excited. And there's a lot to talk about, so we're actually gonna split it into two videos, if that's all right with you guys. So today we'll focus on a general walk around, and then in our next video on Thursday, we'll focus on a technology and safety review. Mike, anything you wanna add? Okay, so this color is Amazon gray. Sometimes it looks green, sometimes yeah. it looks gray. So I think that's very appealing, yes. right, for an owner to have that eye catch. I mean, it, mm -hmm. I have to keep looking at it. It's a color that makes you think. Yes, you know what I mean? <laughs> yes, exactly. And I'll get out some details uh, right now before everybody asks. Uh, so the MSRP this. here is 47,200 and you get about 6.7 liters per 100 kilometers if you're mixing electric, um, obviously, and gas consumption too as well. Mm-hmm. All right, our laptop. That's an just, interesting ad. You guys don't see it. But yeah, <laughs> our laptop just connected, but I think it's fixed again. So as always, it's a live chat video, which means you guys can type in our live chat box and ask us questions while we do our full walk around. Once we're finished up, we're going to come back to the screen here and we're going to read out your questions and try to answer as much as we can without going a little bit too long. And as always, we are a real dealership with real sales mm -hmm. staff and real employees. Me and Mike actually work at both our Brantford Kia location and our Brantford Hyundai location. If you're ever interested in buying a car and you live in Ontario, please contact us and we'd be happy to help you out yes exactly wait okay. you just fast forward to number three of the top three reasons. I, I just did all of them in one. Oh kind wow of. so right. she came back ready <laughs> kind of <laughs> i came back more efficient yes. so i'll also show you guys how you can join our live videos if you want to catch our next one which will be tomorrow at you guessed it 2 p.m eastern standard time so if my computer would work there we go we have our YouTube page here, and if you're watching this video, you already found us, why not leave maybe a like, a comment, or a subscribe, or all three. And then under our home tab, or a live tab, you will see we have an upcoming video. So that's today's video, all you gotta do is click on it. Okay, a little Microsoft Auto Update thing. <laughs> And now you're watching live with us. So you can see us in real time. You'll see me if I fall down or if I fumble my words. It is a real treat. And then on this <laughs> side over here, you guys can see our live chat box. That's where you guys can ask us questions, say hello, and uh, just to ask how we're doing. And we can ask you how you're doing. So I saw MG asked, how are you now, Gabby? Are you feeling good? I am feeling OK. <laughs> so, so, <laughs> let's get into the car. So, like I said, 2023 Hyundai Tucson Ultimate PHEV. This is the fully, fully loaded Tucson. It doesn't get any higher than this. It's also our most expensive Tucson. So, Mike, you touched on the MSRP. Can you say it again? 47199 And the best part about that is it qualifies for a $2,500 federal rebate here in Canada because you have an all-electric range of over 55 kilometers. So, fully electric, you can drive 55 kilometers on this thing. Wow. All right, under the hood is a 1.6 liter turbocharged GDI engine, so gasoline direct injection, but you also have a 66.9 kilowatt electric motor in this bad boy too. Then on top of that, you also have your hybrid battery. So this vehicle, like a hybrid suggests, is a mix of the best of both worlds. You get that gasoline engine power, but you also get that fuel efficiency that comes from your electric motor and your hybrid um, motor. <laughs> All right, now looking at the front of the vehicle, sorry guys, I'm still sick, I'm a little out of it. We have this beautiful dark chrome grille. I absolutely love it. And you guys may not be able to tell right now, but you have your daytime running lights and full headlight unit integrated into the design of this grill. So I'm gonna turn that on so you can see what I'm talking about so I don't sound too crazy. Hopefully the mic or the... Mike, do you have the key? Yes, <laughs> I do. This always happens. <laughs> well, I was getting better with it before. <laughs> All right, and while I'm walking back, let me tell you guys about the transmission. This is a six-speed automatic transmission, and you do have paddle shifters in this vehicle. You also have a regenerative braking system, so through coasting and braking, you'll slowly build back kinetic energy that will give you some power back. All right, are our lights on? Yeah. There we go. So you can see our beautiful daytime running lights integrated into the grill. I absolutely love this look. Almost looks like angel wings yes. is, is how I think of it. And then we have our full LED headlight unit here. Fun fact about this vehicle being the top trim level, these aren't just your regular LED headlights, they're actually projector style LED headlights. So they're very premium, very bright. If you live in country roads or you drive in dark, way, 
dark ways, dark roads, quite frequently you'll really appreciate how bright mm. these are. Also in the front, we have some front parking sensors. So if I were to get closer and closer to, let's say, a wall or another vehicle, these sensors would start to beep, but this vehicle also has the power to stop. So it will stop for you if it senses it's gonna hit something. On top of that, we have remote smart park assist. So on the key fob, I can move my vehicle either forwards or backwards, and it'll still stop if it senses an obstacle. So if I was moving it and then I walk in front of it or someone else does, the car will stop itself, or if it sees it's gonna bump into a fence or something, it will stop, it's very smart. And we'll show that at the end of today's video. All right, wheels. <laughs> so for these wheels, they're 19 inch alloy wheels. They're absolutely stunning. This is also shared with the uh, hybrid as well. So a plug-in hybrid and full regular hybrid. For the, oh my gosh, what word is this? The door handles. We have our press button here. So as long as the key is somewhere on me, I can press that button. It can be in my pocket or in my bag. And the car will either lock or unlock for me, which means I never have to touch my key if I don't want to. You just got to have it on. Gabby you. loves that feature. It's seriously my favorite feature. Um, oh my gosh. Sorry about the beeping. I have to start leaving the keys in the car. Um, so in the winter, I usually wear a bunch of sweaters and a jacket, and sometimes I'll leave my key in my sweater that's underneath three other sweaters plus my jacket. It is a pain to have to go dig through all those pockets and find what I'm looking for, so it's nice to just walk up to my car and unlock it. All right, and of course with hybrid, or plug-in hybrid, we have two power options. So number one is your good old-fashioned fuel. So gasoline, your gasoline port is on the left side of the vehicle, and you have a fuel door button inside the vehicle to open it. And then for your charge, it is on the right side. So with a plug-in hybrid, you can use either uh, a level one or a level two charger. The vehicle actually comes equipped with a level one, so you don't have to purchase one. It's up to you if you would like to install a level two charger. We have one right over here. And this is really gonna cut down your charge times um, if you do find yourself in a pinch or just charging more frequently than the average person. But I'd say, I know my mom, she drives a Sorento PHEV. It totally works for her just using a level one because she'll get home from work, plug her car in the next day, she's perfect, ready to go. Now let's talk about the trunk. On this trim, you do get a power lift gate. You also get this on the uh, lower trim level for the PHEV as well, which is a very, very nice feature to have. You can adjust the height at which this opens. So if you are parking this in a garage and that's a little bit too high, you can set it to whatever you like, or even if you're shorter, it's perfect. Back here, there is so much space. Seriously, so, so much room. Um, I don't know what, Mike, what would you put in here? Myself and yeah. Teddy. Yeah. And, <laughs> <laughs> no, it's uh, honestly what would I put in here? I'll tell you because I actually drove this. Mm -hmm. um, the model, obviously, the 2022. Mm -hmm. um, I fit everything in here. Yeah. Yeah, I did. I fit. Uh, I fit my brother's baby stroller. I fit a playpen. I fit. I mean, I could go on and on and on. But you could really fit a trip, family of four, to a Sega beach, no problem with everything, all the bells and whistles. I've done it with everyone still sitting comfortable in the front without anything on the floor. I want to yeah. point that out because a lot of people pack their cars so much that they put everything on the yeah. floor too, right? So no. There's seriously so yeah. much room here. And if you don't have any rear passengers, you have these nifty levers right on here. So left and right side that will fold down your seats. Oh, is that one? If they really wanted this. to, not that they, not that I would, but <laughs> technically you could squeeze a tiny little, you know, third row into the back. That's just to show you how much room there yeah. is. I wouldn't, but I mean, that, there's a lot of room enough to have that space. Underneath here, we have our tire mobility kit. So with our plug-in hybrids, we typically don't have any spare tires because, you know, your battery is taking up a lot of room. Um, but this is a quick patch kit. We actually just did a video on how it works. So if you are curious on it, we did it last week. It's a really fun video too, actually. <laughs> Oh, I said seven rows. Sorry, Abby. Seven I rows. Yeah, row I think you could seats. totally fit seven rows in this car. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I don't Wait, think it'd be I want to show all. one oh. more thing here. Okay. This is cool. I know. I'm going to take a second showing this, but they've got this emergency release okay. gas door. Not sure why I would use it to open that up, but it's kind of cool. In case right? you can't open your gas door. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> if I'm locked out of my car and I really need to put gas in it. All right. And then another one of my favorite things, and we did a hilarious video on this feature, is the rear parking sensors. So when I spoke about the front, I mentioned that if you get too close to something, the vehicle does have the power to stop. So does the rear. So this is great in an everyday life situation where you're in a busy parking lot and there's constantly cars, strollers, buggies just coming up from behind you. The car will alert you to let you know there's something happening. And then if you don't react, it will break for you. But we took it a step further to see just how sensitive it is. So I had my manager run behind me while I was reversing. I tried to hit my manager with the <laughs> car. I tried so hard and the car stopped me. Seriously, it's a great feature. <laughs> I will link that video in our description once this video is posted if you are curious to watch it. It was so, so much fun to film. 
Um, great thing, or one thing I really love about the style of this vehicle um, is of course the rear wiper. We still have one. It's just hidden under the spoiler. So not only is this great for aesthetic, because oh, it kind of- it. it is. <laughs> yeah, it cleans up it's the awesome. back end of the vehicle, but it also keeps your wiper away from dirt, snow, ice, everything, just to prolong the life of your wiper. And you know, no one's touching it, no one's messing with it. All right, we'll close this up now. We if you can... live somewhere where people are constantly messing with your wipers. Okay, you know how many times I've seen, like, it's usually Volkswagens for some reason, just like old Golfs, and the wiper is ripped off. Wow. I, I don't know. <laughs> All right, now, one more thing I wanted to point out before we hop inside is this vehicle is equipped with cameras all throughout. So in the front and the sides underneath your mirrors, you have live cameras. So when I signal a turn, whether it be on the highway or even if I'm just parallel parking, it's going to show me exactly what is in that blind spot. It is an absolutely great feature. Um, I especially love it for parking. No one thinks about that. They only think about merging on the highway. But seriously, there's so many great values or you know what i personally like it feature. for if you live in the city yeah when cyclists in the cycling yes, lane are yes. coming it's, it's a great and feature it, to see that the angle is so wide as well too so you can see, see see a lot you'll see the side of your vehicle so exactly where your wheels are which is perfect like i said for parking uh but also what's going on in the lane next to you so you see everything yeah all right i'll have mike show the inside before i hop in my favorite colors yep. inside as usual the light gray interior almost white the seats are heated and ventilated on this trim level. And something you get in the ultimate trim that you don't get in the others is a power passenger seat. So we got power passenger and driver. Mike, I'm just gonna close the hood. Yes. You wanna keep showing the inside because this thing's beep in. Okay, well, I think is it the key not in the vehicle or is it the hood? I think it's both. <laughs> Gabby's gonna mention this, but again, I think one thing we love about this design is just the seamless flow of it, right? So from the doors all the way to throughout the dash and you kind of see it here. <laughs> we love to see it. All right, I'm going to hop in quickly and show you guys some things that are on the left side of the vehicle. Why is this still beeping? <laughs> it's just really annoying. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so sorry about that, guys. We'll put it into electrical mode. Perfect. Um, and we'll show you right over here, we have our window controls. So we have an express up and down window for both the driver and the passenger, and then, of course, power windows all throughout the vehicle. Up here, we have a feature that is exclusive to the ultimate trim level, and that is memory seats. So, of course, if I was sharing this vehicle with another driver and we're very different heights, this is an absolute life changer. It's also going to change your mirrors as well. So if you guys have very different mirror positions, you don't have to worry about that. You just select yourself as either driver one or driver two, and you're good to go. I love the integrated design. It's like in the strip too. Oh right? yeah, it's, it's not random buttons. Yeah, it might be. I, I think you guys can probably see on camera yeah. now. I know our quality is never that great, um, but it is illuminated. So at nighttime, you'll still be oh, able yeah, to see it. See that, yeah. Down here, we have our Bose premium audio system. And on this specific vehicle, it actually has eight speakers. So even throughout the back, you're gonna get that premium sound all throughout the cabin in this vehicle, which is super nice. I love Bose. And then on this left panel here, which is also illuminated, you have your brightness adjustment, so you can quickly control how bright you want your screens to be. These are pretty big screens, and they can be a little bit straining at nighttime. So on top of that, you also have a blue light filter integrated into your settings here that you can turn on or off and set the intensity. You also have your button for your power lift gate, your traction control, and then your fuel door release, like I mentioned. So your fuel door release, you'll have to press over there. For your actual charge door release, you just press on it. As long as the vehicle is unlocked, it'll open for you. If your vehicle is locked, it won't open for you. Also, when your vehicle is locked, no one can unplug your vehicle, so you don't mm -hmm. have to worry about that either. Steering wheel. <laughs> this is my favorite steering wheel that either Kia or Hyundai offer. Um, it is absolutely amazing. And I mean, looking at it, it looks very nice, but driving, it is such a comfortable steering wheel. I know a lot of people don't think about the comfort of your wheel, but seriously, once you drive this, you won't look back. It is leather wrapped and it is heated. So in the winter, you don't have to worry about wearing gloves in your car. You can still touch your screens and be fine. Super, super nice, especially because it heats all the way around. Paddle shifters, like I mentioned earlier, so you can quickly change gears on the fly. On the left side, we have our Bluetooth and voice commands. So over here, I can quickly select my virtual assistant, my voice control. We also have our volume control, which if I press down, will quickly mute everything. A phone button, a favorite button, and then a toggle for your modes. Um, over here, we also have our mode button, which lets you select whether you want to listen to Bluetooth audio, AM radio, FM radio, whatever it may be. You can select it there. Horn in the center, and then on the right side, we have all our driver assistance controls and menus. So with this button right up here, it's going to change what we see on our fully digital 10 and a quarter inch gauge cluster. <laughs> <laughs> Not to brag. So when I press this, 
it's going to cycle between different menus in the center screen. So right now this vehicle has not been charged, so we only have 4 kilometers of range. And then gasoline, we got 67 kilometers. You'll see much better numbers, of course, when there's either fuel or charge. You also have your drive info, your accumulated info, energy flow, your navigation, and then your tire, oh sorry, all-wheel drive torque distribution and your tire pressure. Also over here, we have our cruise control. So a quick button to turn on your cruise. You can of course set your speed with the plus and minus. So to either increase or decrease or even pause it. And then you can set your following distance with the button just underneath. Kia and Hyundai do four different preset following distances. So it doesn't matter how close or how far you set your distance. If the vehicle ahead of you slows down or stops, your vehicle will behave or perform accordingly. So if you hit stop and go traffic, your car will completely stop. I know it sounds very sketchy, especially if you've never had this in a vehicle before, but it is so, so smooth. Mm -hmm. If you get the chance to try it out on a test drive, definitely try it. Um, of course, ask for a tutorial first. But yes, it's a great feature. <laughs> we also have our steering assistance. I might just take the camera from you, Mike, because yes. it's probably super hard to pick up. So all this is illuminated at nighttime, you won't have to worry about seeing it. But this button over here looks like a lane with a steering wheel. And this vehicle has a camera right over here that monitors the lanes ahead of you. This button is going to see what's happening in the road ahead of you and steer your vehicle accordingly. So if there's a curve on the road, a curve on the highway, your vehicle is literally going to steer. You can take your hands off the wheel only for a little bit. It will warn you to put them back on. And the rest is history. The car just drives itself. It's very, very cool, especially with your um, cruise control on. Right now, I'll have Mike join me in the car. I love that feature. It's a really cool feature. <clears throat> oh my gosh, I'm like out of breath. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. You, you, you're, you're a little sick, but you're on point. I'm telling you, like super on point. <laughs> Surprised I'm not having like major like brain fog today. All right, one thing I want to show first, because this is probably one of my favorite things that's in the Tucson. Um, the Tucson and the Sportage, they made a great use of the space, but this giant panoramic sunroof just opens up the cabin completely, makes it feel so, so huge. So I think this pano roof on top of the white or gray leather just makes everything feel so open and airy. Of course, the glass does actually open, so I'll do that for you guys. It takes a little bit because it's huge. But check that out. It is absolutely stunning. I absolutely love this feature, and I know a lot of you guys like it too, so make sure you show, we show you that. Um, in the center, you have this beautiful 10 and a quarter inch media system. So you have built-in navigation, built-in Sirius XM, and a lot of other stuff built in. So like I said, we will do a technology review to cover everything if you are interested in that, but I'll quickly show you a couple of our screens. So this is your home screen, slide over, you can go to your PHEV menu, which will show you your energy flow, your EV information, just everything that has to do with driving a plug-in vehicle. We also have our map, which is very, very handy. Um, if I go to this magnifying glass over here, I can type in wherever I'm looking for. But even if I go to our navigation menu instead, it'll give me a bunch of point of interest categories, Hyundai dealerships, everything. And this is really helpful, especially if you are driving somewhere that you're not used to. I absolutely love it. And they also included EV charging stations, so you can top off your charge, no problem. We'll that's key. Up. Isn't that cool? Yeah, that's <laughs> key, knowing where to charge it. Exactly. That's the one question I get asked a lot when people are looking to switch. They're just like, well, how do I know if I'm driving here or there? Yeah. It's just like, well, it's in the car. You just hit that. And I will say for anyone who has range anxiety, I think a PHEV is definitely the way to go. Mm -hmm. So even if you are, if you want to primarily drive with the electric range, of course, you still have to put gas in your car every once in a while. Um, you don't have to worry about ever being stranded because you can still always put gasoline in your vehicle and then reap the benefits of having both. It's truly the best of both worlds. Mm -hmm. So I love it. <laughs> um, we also have a quiet mode which mutes the speakers in the back. So if you do have little ones or pets or anybody in the back that's trying to sleep, they can have a nice peaceful drive while you can still listen to music or whatever you're listening to. Under setup is where you'll get into the nitty gritty stuff like your vehicle safety settings, your user profiles, your sound settings. So again, we'll save that for a technology and safety review. Um, down here is all your climate control settings, which I will go more in depth in our other review because <laughs> this is very techy. But um, I guess the things that you need to know is it is a dual zone climate control, which means your passenger and your driver can have two separate temperatures. And then of course you do have airflow in the back, so your rear passengers are not forgotten about. Uh, another thing that's great about this vehicle that we do not get in the other trim levels is a wireless phone charger. Mm -hmm. So right down there, um, the other PHEV, so the lower trim does not receive that. We also have a USB, a 12 volt, and another USB on the right over there. 
I love how it's at an angle too. Yeah, I just drop that, my phone cool? in. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you can't even really tell it's a wireless phone charger. So I will say some cars make it pretty obvious, and yeah. it can look a little bit ugly, but they just integrate into the design so well you can't really tell. We have heated seats and ventilated seats, like I mentioned, heated steering wheel, downhill braking assist, parking sensors, your parking camera, which I'll click on to show you guys real quick. It is a full 360 camera on this vehicle, so you can see right behind you, and then also a full drop-down view. You can change the views as well if you were looking for something else. And these are the side cameras, like I mentioned, so the mm -hmm. cameras that are underneath your mirrors. For your transmission, it is a six-speed automatic, but your transmission gear select is a shift by wire so as long as my foot is fully depressed on the brake pedal i just press it like a button and it'll shift me into whatever gear i'm looking for and it will illuminate so i know what gear i'm in <laughs> then of course it'll either go on a drive or go in reverse or neutral over here we also have a drive and terrain mode so it's illuminated that's in drive and then i can cycle with this toggle here and if you look at my 10 and a quarter inch gauge cluster it changes Boom. with my drive mode which is pretty cool and when I press down on terrain, it lets me cycle between snow, mud, and sand. So in case you missed it, for drive, we got eco, sport, and smart, and terrain, snow, mud, and sand. And each of these drive or terrain modes will adjust your vehicle accordingly to drive in those conditions or drive to that driving style. So sport is going to be a bit more peppy, but not as fuel efficient. It's also going to maximize the... Um, power to the engine so you're not going to be in ev mode much unless you are coasting or braking um, and that will slowly build power back into your ev range which is pretty nice uh, so I, I should specify with that the more your engine's running it's going to drive power back to your electric mm -hmm. motor uh, cup holders that's pretty basic and then we have a center console this is a very deep center console might i add there's a lot of space in there <laughs> it's all dark so i can't really show you but trust me there's a lot of space in there yeah uh, look at that my head disappeared <laughs> yeah you can lose things in there that's for sure um mike will show the glove box and then we'll hop in the back there we go perfect enough room for gloves yes uh, it's a, this is a, the receipt holder for me yeah if you open the glove box in my car it's just so many gloves yeah. that's all i keep <laughs> every <in>. glove <laughs> seven gl pairs of gloves one for every day of the week Ooh. oh i see a lot of comments about spilling a drink on the seat. I'll tell you guys, this is super easy, easy to, to clean. clean. I've, yeah. I've driven this for about a week. Yeah, we, I don't know if I want to say this out loud for my boss to hear, but I spilled a slushy in it. And uh, well, not me. And it was um, just <laughs> not, super not easy to wipe off. Like I waited till I got home and there was no stain, no, nothing. So, yeah. so far, so good for me. I feel anytime you're talking about leather, it's pretty easy unless, I don't know, I don't think you'd be drinking red wine in your car. No. But um, I would hope not. If you get to it quick, it should be no problem. Leather is super easy to wipe down. Um, I have a dog, and she's pretty disgusting. So it's pretty nice to have leather seats in the car. All right, your back two main seats are heated, and your heating control is just on the door panel on either the driver or passenger side. Um, we also have our door handles and everything there. That's pretty standard, pretty basic. But on the back seats, we have this mesh pocket, and we have two USBs on the bottom here. Your air vents, like I mentioned earlier, and I will say, these seats are so comfy. Right now, they're very um, straight up, so it's not my preferred way of sitting. Yeah. But if you grab the lever that's either on the left or right side, you can recline them to make them perfect to whoever you'd like to sit. Another thing I love about this is how long the panoramic roof is. So even if I am sitting back here, you get a beautiful view of what's outside, provided the screen is open or else not so much. In the center over here, we also have our cup holder and armrest. So very, very nice. Um, the leather material is very, very soft as well, too. So my seats are very comfy. This retracts back. And then, of course, these seats move separately so I can have a 60 or 40 split. So look at the room, though. This is the thing about oh, yeah. the Tucson that... And this anybody, seat's all the way back. Yeah. So this seat's literally all the way back right yeah. now. Um, I have a good that. amount of knee room. Lots Crazy. of room underneath the seats for my feet. And mind you, I am in heels. Um, and then headroom-wise, I got a lot of room. Uh, yeah, we're I'm just, not that tall. <laughs> we're just not saying this all the time. My my actual brother was from the outside. It doesn't look like there's this much room. No. It's, it, the way they have the design is it's it baffles me a little bit. They make good use of the space yeah. for sure. Uh, what else? It's, it's just comfy back here. I could mm -hmm. do the rest of the live here, but I won't. We'll answer some questions and then we'll answer all your tech questions in our next and live. The hump is like almost non-existent. Yeah. Right? So again, with having all your battery down there, it's very very. It's pretty flat. It's yeah. Just about near flat. All right, let's hop out and answer some questions. Yeah, you know what? I, The color combo, like I said, I, I had the year before, so the 2022 of this for a week. 
I fell in love with it. I did. I didn't think it would be like that. Like I've driven a couple of Tucsons, but I had the the hybrid actually not plug in. Yeah. But the fuel efficiency was amazing. Yeah. <laughs> what did I did I flip it over yet? Yeah, yeah, I did. There we go. Mike's like, what am I doing? <laughs> <laughs> so caught off guard. Um, oh, good question. Sorry if you're for darker hijacking. Than me now. Yeah, yeah, I got pretty yeah. dark. <laughs> Um, sorry for hijacking. I'm getting my Nero EV limited on Thursday. Are there any things that I should ask and check when I'm picking it up? Definitely check that they gave you your level one charger. I guess it also depends on your region. I know here in Ontario, all of our EVs and plug-in hybrids do come with level ones. Uh, but make sure you have that because if you don't have a charger installed at home, that's going to be a, a little pain in the butt. Um, make sure everything else looks right. Like check for your tire mobility kit that it's there. If the dealership is reputable, hopefully they already gave you a full charge. Um, make sure the detail's good. Make sure there's no scratches or anything on your vehicle beforehand. Just definitely make sure your vehicle looks in good new condition. Yeah. You know what I mean? It looks like it was taken care of. Okay. I don't know why my computer keeps disconnecting from the TV. That's why I'm like, Yeah, know, yeah we're trying to look at yeah, the Yeah, I'm like getting in close. How convenient. So if you don't see me in the next video, yeah. it's because I'm sick, not because I got fired for the spilling the, the slushy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see. Someone made a comment about you saying, well, Mike's not here anymore because of the slushy incident. Oh my gosh. Um, how's the anti-theft system on these cars? Love from South Africa. We are going to be taking a few of these now. They're in demand here. So um, theft has been a big question about Kia and Hyundai ever mm. since there was the Kia boys trend um, in the States. Here in Canada, since 2007, it has been by law required to have an immobilizer in your vehicle so that's never been an issue yeah. um like the kia boys trend could never have happened to a canadian made vehicle or a, a kia or hyundai vehicle made for canada so that was an issue there of course vehicle thefts are something that you can't really doesn't matter how hard you try if someone really wants to steal your car they'll find a way to steal your car but there's great safety features good preventative measures you can do a lot of people don't have their keys too close to the front of their house yeah that's a you know big thing I mean? too uh, if you bring your keys to your room or something um of course don't leave your keys in your car no. little things like don't leave no. valuables in your car exactly Th there's those things but as a issue for the vehicle itself there's no real no yeah no um let's see don't put your keys in the garage. Yeah, don't keep your keys in the garage. Don't keep your keys like under your mat at your house or something. Yeah, Just no. Sleep with your keys. <laughs> sleep with them. Put them under your pillow. Uh, okay, I'm going to scroll up a little bit. Actually, a lot of bits just to see what we may have missed. We got a lot of hellos. A lot of s looks good to see us again. Well, honestly, I'm so happy to be doing lives again. Lives are my favorite. Listen, it's so much fun. Yeah. Seriously, she so much fun. She literally in the morning said, are you at work? Text me. <laughs> yeah. And I go, yeah. She goes, yay, long time no, long time no live, I think you said. Yeah. <laughs> um, what, seven rows? <laughs> yeah, I know. I said seven rows instead of three because thinking of seven seats. Um, let's see. My EV6 stopped me from reversing in a pedestrian, said Hank. Yes, it is a very, yeah. very great feature to have. Um, seriously, you can look around your vehicle all you want, but sometimes kids and just things come out of nowhere. So it's always nice to have that added. You know. Oh yeah, especially, and this is from experience, people walking their dogs, they let mm -hmm. the leash out and you got this tiny little dog walking behind your car before you even see the person because they have those long leashes. So that mm -hmm. picks it up. And so many times my car would warn me before I back out. Mm -hmm. And then I always think like, if this was a 90s, in trouble. <laughs> 2022 Tucson Preferred came with a car recovery, but my 2023 Ultimate Hybrid Tucson doesn't have one. Was it dropped? I think so, yeah. So usually yeah. they'll mention it in our brochures if it's coming with it or not. Now this vehicle does have the uh, slots inside, so on the sides, mm -hmm. um, to put it in, but it doesn't come with it for factory anymore. Some years they'll change it, some years they'll add them back. Does it have the slots there? Yeah, it does. Oh, I didn't yeah. even know the side. I thought those were the what levels. What the heck, Mike? What do you want me to say? It's been a, it's been a week, you know? <laughs> I just, what Japan Quake said, he needs extra brain cells. Well, I think I gave up some of mine yeah. in the last week. Um, how about a car wash tutorial for a video idea? We've already done that, but for matte paint. So you guys, I'm sure if we did it for matte paint, you guys can figure out how to do it for regular paint. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> can't um, find my Speedo though, so I won't be washing the car. Oh no. <laughs> Ew. Yeah, I know. We lost Ew. all our subscribers. Guys, we were so <laughs> close to it. 100,000, it just dropped. My mom just left the chat. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay. <laughs> Japan Craig spilled red wine in yours. Okay. Did it clean up well? Yeah. Um, 
make sure you have your charging cable set to 12 amps. Yes, so another video that we did, uh, the level one charger that comes with EVs, you can actually change how much power is outflowing from there. No, make sure your actual outlet allows for that kind of power to come yeah. out, but yeah. Um, make sure it's got four tires and one steering wheel. That's probably one of the most important things. Yeah. Yep. Um, Japan Quake asked if this is a new MacBook. It is not. It is still my water damaged, no speaker, trusty, dusty MacBook. Yeah, I see mileage. 6.7 liters per 100 kilometers. That's with it using both um, both engines, I guess, right? Both electric and fuel. Sorry? Where'd you read that? Someone just asked what the mileage was. Oh, yes. So that is with the charge. Yes. We're using both. Yes, yes. you're using both. Now, um, if you are fully depleted of charge, so you didn't plug in your vehicle or just you've been driving uphill, driving on the highway, it'll still be a hybrid, so it's still going to use your um, hybrid motor, Yeah. but it is not going to use any electric range. Oh, it's okay. <laughs> Um, water damage and still working, yes. So it was a very, very snowy day here in Brantford and I had my um, computer in my purse and the purse was open a little bit and I was walking around and sometimes the snow is a lot. A bunch of snow got into my purse, I didn't realize. <laughs> and you know, I just was walking away. around with a yeah. big snow and once cone I got, in her purse. <laughs> I didn't take my laptop out until the next day I got to work and then I turn on YouTube to see how our, the channel was doing and everything and the sound starts playing and it's just screeching, my laptop screeching. I close so still it. no sound? Still, like there's sound, mm. but it sounds like it's screeching. Oh, okay. So I will not be watching any movies that's, or anything on here. That's freaky, yeah. yeah. Um, Mike, flex them muscles. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking that too. Oh, a flex? Fine, I'll just do one. They're tiny. They're tiny. Um, let's see. My wife is going to chirp me for that right there, <laughs> big time. <laughs> um, video idea. How to steal a car when you really want to. So I don't think we'll do that. No, I would have to <laughs> consider it. That would be illegal. Like if you, like she said, I think the bet, the way people really do it is if they can't get in your car, they'll kick in your front door. I mean, I do this. I keep my. I mean, no, I don't. I don't keep my keys on a hook right by the front door. No, I don't. Gabby flexing her bones. So today we're gonna end off. <laughs> <laughs> no, but actually we are gonna end off today's video. Um, but one thing I promised to do before ending off was to move the car with the remote. So of course nobody's in there. I'm gonna start it off real quick. So you have to remote start the vehicle first. How confident are you if I put my face close to it? Do it. I don't care. Smiling with my teeth out. I no, of course you're not gonna care. <laughs> okay, let's see this. It'll stop. I'm a little chihuahua walking across. Oh. It stops. Woo. Okay. Still got scared. Now we'll move it backwards. Look at her go. <laughs> Pretty cool. Okay. I, I won't lie, I do that in the parking lot at grocery stores. I purposely park tight so I can do that and people can ask me about it. Yeah, it, it's cool, eh? Yeah. So a lot of people think, why would I ever use this feature? And exactly that. So parking spots. Oh, yeah. If someone parks so close to you, you can't squeeze in, this car can come out. It also will come out of your driveway or out of your garage. It, it's a pretty cool Well, feature. here's a little tip, lot to finish this off. You know in the parking lot of grocery stores where the carts are, no one likes to park beside it because you can't open your door? Yeah. So that spot's always free, and it's right by the carts, and it's right by the store. So that's where I park. I get out yeah. before, I reverse it in, Yeah. you know, and, and I get one of the best spots you can get. Yeah. <laughs> so that's a little tip right there, guys. You're welcome. Um, Japan, quick ask, Gabby, can you show the window closing thing? I can but I'll make you wait until Thursday's video. Mm -hmm. So we'll see you guys Thursday. Thanks again for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you like this video, stay tuned for our, fr stay tuned. Stay tuned for our Thursday video because it's gonna be the same car again. Exactly.